well my dear welcome back to this tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to share with you effectiveness of heat exchanger hope you will enjoy the tutorial and uh, let me share with you in the first half of this video i'm going to share with you how and what is basically effectiveness of heat exchanger and uh, this video is uh, i am going to i'm going to share with you in this video what is most important to know if you are preparing for complete examination just like gate ssc j or any other examination right so what is effectiveness of heat exchanger basically so basically if we we'll say how we can denote this this is denoted by epsilon and if we we'll say what is the definition of it then i must say q by q max what is the meaning of q heat transfer rate i mean or you can say actual heat transfer rate by the heat exchanger by maximum possible heat exchanger rate by the heat exchanger so there is nothing to do with this definition if you if you are preparing for a gate like examination because here after this definition we are having another two formulas two formula if you learn both of them then definitely it will help you forget how let me share with you suppose that we are having a parallel flow heat exchanger and another is counter flow heat exchanger he for heat exchanger generally we got numerical problems from these two type of heat exchanger only in the competitive examination okay now if i wanted to find out heat exchanger effectiveness for parallel flow heat exchanger then how we can find out this or how you can find out this that is epsilon is equal to epsilon is equal to c h C H T H one minus T H two and C minimum C minimum T H one minus T C one. This is for hot fluid. And now for cold fluid, what we got? Well. after if we'll say different formulas for parallel and counter flow then we have different cases but here i am sharing with you what you required what you need to know to solve the numerical problem which is which has been asked already in gate 2000 if i am not wrong then it has been asked in gate uh, let me see yeah gate 2010 this question has been asked which just i am going to share with you another cc okay heat capacity cc t c2 minus t c1 if we, we are if we are considering parallel flow heat exchanger why i am writing this i i am I'm just going to help you to know okay c minimum and t h1 minus t c1 what is the meaning of this exactly okay let me share with you suppose that we are having a heat exchanger here to here parallel flow maybe it is a parallel flow heat exchanger th1 th2 tc1 and tc2 why i am saying tc2 minus tc1 and why i am telling th1 minus th2 from here you can see because here cold flue temperature is keep on increasing and hot flue temperature is keep on decreasing that is the main reason i am sharing with you here that it is tc2 minus tc1 and th1 minus tc1 and both the formulas are most important for effectiveness of heat exchanger for finding out exit temperature also now what is ch and what is cc and what is c minimum basically ch is equal to mass flow rate of hot fluid into cph specific heat at constant pressure for hot fluid same for the same you can say cc is equal to mass flow rate of cold fluid into cpc specific heat at constant pressure for cold fluid and most of the time these these values given in the numerical problem 
so what is most important you need to know these two formulas because based on the numerical problem we need to use one of them because it is totally depend on the question just right now i am going to share with you a numerical problem as i have shared you which has been asking it okay so are you ready my dear to solve that problem i think so so let's go for it why you are waiting what are, what are you waiting for let's go for it let's go for it just go for it okay here is it yes we got this numerical problem right now yeah i think you can see okay okay just so what we need to know first for solving the numerical problem we need to know what type of basically heat exchanger we have given this is written here parallel flow heat exchanger so without diagram of parallel flow heat exchanger we cannot solve the problem quite easily th1 th2 tc1 and tc2 at least for this topic if you are getting numerical problem without drawing diagram don't solve the numerical problem if you will do so then probably you are going to make mistake why you will come to know if you will do okay just do practice at home you will come to know why i am saying this so what we have given that cp is this industrial gas enter inter industrial gas means this is for you enter 250 degree centigrade that means this is the hot fluid so it is entering at 250 degree centigrade right and its cp is 1 kilo joule per kg kelvin and now water water and uh, uh, okay with the flow rate of flow rate is 2 kg per second now the water stream cp 4 kilo joule per kg kelvin yeah here one one of the most important thing you need to learn that is most of the time we will not get this value for water because cp for water is 4 kilo joule per kg kelvin this is almost uh, you know fixed so mass flow rate kg per second okay 1 kg per second so we got these two values but water is entering here it is saying that uh, at enters the heat exchanger water stream enters the heat exchanger at 50 degrees centigrade okay so it is entering here 50 degree centigrade so we we have given these two values that water is entering here 50 degree centigrade and uh, th1 is this and tc1 is this so now what i have shared with you basically they have also given that effectiveness of the heat exchanger is what they have given how much point yeah you can see here 0.75 okay so epsilon is equal to 0.75 now let me write both the formulas that is tch th1 minus th2 and what we have to find stream exit temperature that means we have to find out this one okay th2 so c minimum TH1 minus TC1. Just let me write what we have given. TCH, you don't know. I did not tell you how to find out. But you know what is the value of TH1. 250. TH2, we have to find out. We have given this one. And C minimum, again, I did not tell you what is it. And TH1, you know, 250. TC1, you know, what is TC1? 50. So, now what what are our challenges we need to know ch and c minimum so what is ch basically ch heat capacity of hot fluid that is mass flow rate of hot fluid into cph that means mass flow rate is 2 and multiple 1 so this is 2 only heat capacity rate is 2 now now what heat capacity is 2 for hot fluid for cold fluid what is this cold fluid we know don't need to know yeah we need to know because we need to know c minimum heat capacity minimum for which one is minimum hot fluid or cold fluid so here you can see 1 into 4 is 4 right so which one is minimum ch is minimum so we know that ch is equal to 2 and 250 minus th2 and then c minimum is 2 250 minus 50 is 200 2 to get cancel 1 now 200 will do cross multiplication 200 into 0.75 is equal to 250 minus th2 if we will send this side so th2 250 
250 minus 200 into 0.75 now right now i think we have to use calculator am i right so why not to use calculator and different pen because i have different color pen also so 250 minus 200 into 0.75 yeah is equal to 100 so you need to be in degree centigrade so 100 degree centigrade is the answer we got here now let me share with you option here 75 degree centigrade 100 degree centigrade 125 degree centigrade and 150 degree centigrade so b is the right option i hope you understand the problem as well as topic thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye